the captain of the cricket team of 11 members is 26 years old and the wicket keeper is 3 years older. If the ages of these two are excluded, the average age of the remaining players is one year less than the average age of the whole team. What is the average age of the team? What is the average age of the team? So interesting question. He says there is a cricket team of 11 members, right? The captain of this team is 26 years old and the wicket keeper is three years older. Wicket keeper is three years older, meaning wicket keeper's age is how much? 23 plus 3. Sorry, 26 plus 3, which is 29 years. So the captain is 26 years old. The wicket keeper is 29 years old, right? Wicket keeper is 29 years old. Now the ages of these two are excluded. The ages of these two are excluded means what? This 26 years and 29 years are excluded from the group. The average age of the remaining players. What are the remaining players? See, out of 11 members, if you are excluding the age of 2, the remaining are 9, right? 11 minus 2, which is equal to 9. So age of the remaining players, average age of the remaining players is one year less than the average age of the whole team. What is the average age of the team is the question. What is the average age of the team is the question, right? Now let's solve it using the regular process, right? Let's, let's assume that the average age of the whole team is A. Then what is the average age of the remaining players? The average age of the remaining players will be A minus 1. Because it is one year less than this average, right? So if the average age of the whole team is A, average age of the remaining players, average age of the remaining players will be A minus 1, one year less than this. Yeah? Now try to balance the total of their ages. See, what is the sum of all their ages? Sum of all the 11 members, sum of all the 11 members will be equal to 11 into A because average is A. Which should be equal to 9 times of A minus 1 plus 26 plus 29. Solve for A and you will get the required answer. Are you able to follow? Now, let's, let's understand this equation. I mean, this is just that equation which you need to solve. Only one equation and you will get the answer. What is it? Average is A. So, sum of all the 11 members will be 11 into A. For the remaining 9, now, now we are breaking this sum of 11 into 3 parts. 9 members, the captain and the wicket keeper. So, captain's age is 26, wicket keeper's age is 29. We will add these two to the age of the remaining 9 members. Now, 9 members, average will be A minus 1 for the remaining 9 members, right? Average is of remaining players. Average of remaining 9 players is 1 year less. So, A minus 1. Solve for A and you will get the answer. So, what do we get? 11A minus 9A, right? 11A minus 9A. 11A minus 9A equals to minus 9 plus 26 plus 29. Solve this. So, 2A is equal to, how much is this? Uh, 29 minus 9 is 20, 20 plus 26 is 46. 2A is 46 implies a is equal to 23. That's your answer. What is he asking us to find out? What is the average age of the team? Average age of the team is average age of the whole team. So average age of the whole team A is 23 years. Option 1 is your answer. Just one step. I don't see any step other than this one. Write this one equation, solve and you'll get the required answer. We are trying to just balance the sum of the ages of all the 11 pairs in two different ways. Equating this will give the answer. So I don't know how, how you guys have got 24 as the answer. Right? 23 is the correct answer. Some of you mark 24, it is wrong. 23 is the correct answer to this question. Now, let's say we have to solve this question using the concept of equal distribution. This is a regular method, but how do you solve it using equal distribution? Right? Equal distribution. Understand what happened this time? This time, two members have been excluded. What is the value of these two members? The first member had 26 rupees, the second member had 29 rupees. These two have been removed. 52, 55 rupees have been removed from the group. From the group of 11, 55 rupees have been removed. By removing this 55 rupees, by removing this 55 rupees, what happened? The average age of the remaining players is one year less. So, so basically, 55 rupees should go out. Yeah. Now, what happened? These two guys, when they were leaving, they collected one rupee from all the remaining nine members. They collected one rupee each from the rem remaining nine members. There are 11 members, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to 11 members are there. Right. Oh. Out of these 11 members, the captain and the wicket keeper were asked to go out. While going out, what happened? When they left, when these two people left, the captain and the wicket keeper, we found that the average reduced by 1. So, which means while leaving, when they were going out during their exit, they collected not only their values, not only what they had earlier, they, they will collect their value C plus WP, but also they collected 1 rupee from each of the remaining 9 members. They collected one rupee from each of the remaining nine members. 
That's when the average will reduce by one year, right? I mean, if you reduce each value by one rupee, average will reduce by one rupee. That's what is given here. Average reduced by one, which means each person's value reduced by one. So they collected one rupee from each of the nine members. You're getting it. So I can say that this 55 is, I mean, while 55 is 26 plus 29, don't get confused that way, but 55 is not what they're supposed to take. They were supposed to take 55 minus nine. So I'll, I'll, I'll subtract that 9 from here. 55, I'll, I'll remove this 9 rupees. They collected 9 rupees extra. So 46, which means they should have actually taken 46 rupees out. These two people should have taken 46 rupees out. And if two people are taking 46 out, meaning their average was 23. I mean, you got to understand the, this, this whole concept of equal distribution. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow this, right? This is easier to understand. But in my view, this equal distribution idea is also very simple. I'll just take 55 minus 9 by 2 as the answer. If you follow equal distribution concept, this is your answer. 55 has gone out, but they've taken 9 rupees extra. So I'll remove that 9 rupees. 46 was supposed to be the average of two persons. I mean, 46 is supposed to be the sum of two persons. So 46 is the sum of two persons. The average of those two persons is 23, which is supposed to be the average of the group as well. Equal distribution, right? These two persons will equally get 23 rupees each. So 11 members also got 23 rupees each. So option one, 23 is the answer. You're getting it. I know this may sound a little complex to follow. Equal distribution method may sound a little uh, complex to follow if you are not if you, if you have not gone through the basic videos. Yeah. So if if it is looking complex, follow this method. Yeah. Try to follow this method and you get the answer. Otherwise, just go by equal distribution.